everybody, I am Nico D. Today I'm gonna to show you all a case for the Raspberry Pi 4. I've gotten it from Yang Xiong from Yutsai. I hope I say that right. So he's an Amazon seller and he creates all kinds of accessories for Raspberry Pis or even for Arduino. I don't have a case right now. I've gotten this box yesterday and I'm gonna open it with you. But I've also have got a box from a viewer. And we will also open this box later on, but first the Raspberry Pi 4 case. I can also give away 5 of these cases. All you will have to do is share one video of mine on a social media and share the link on the comments down below here in this video. So first let's see what's in this box. Here we go! So let's open it. Another box, unboxing a box, and another box, or it's a case, oh, and a power adapter also, oh that's very handy, a USB type C power adapter with a switch, that's very handy, that's very cool, how much amps is this, it is 3 amps, yeah 3 amps, this is very good. I will try this out. Some heat sinks. They are very small heat sinks, but they are heat sinks. And here is a case. It's already assembled. I thought I would have to assemble it myself. Let's see what it is. Alright, this looks good. This looks very good. I will have to peel off all the plastic. I hate doing that. So and also a gift card from Yutsai. I am happy. Oh, also this fan, I've got so many of those fans. So what do I need? A screwdriver. Screw this. This is too small. Okay. So here there's uh, those thingies, screws, something like that. I'm not the most handy person in the world, but I guess you already have found that out. God damn it. I was turning in the wrong direction, of course. That ain't gonna work. Okay. That is all the screws out. So let's see what we've got. These are the legs. That has to come out. And now, one which layer? Could it be here? No. Could it be here? Or did I already put it in the wrong order? This looks about right. This goes on here like this, 
Now the screws back in. Okay, that's one screw in. So we will need this too. Oops. There it goes. There it went. I'm gonna screw this one so it doesn't fall off. So now this does it need to go on top or on the inside? On top I'd say. Though the inside is cool. it like this. Okay, now let's screw this one off again. Okay, now we can do like this. Okay, let's plug these. So the black wire goes in the third last, so here goes the black wire, okay, I use my fans mostly on 3 volts, here is 3 volts, the first one of this row or 5 volts is right next to the ground wire so the second or the first here is 5 volts while this one is 3 volts so I'm gonna plug it in into 3 volts now let's try to close the case alright I still need to add one more screw to make it pretty Okay, now let's close the case. Alright, I almost forgot about this. The heat sinks. These are actually too small. You could use a little bigger heat sink. I'm gonna check. Oh, I've got these. I don't have better heat sinks, but well. I'm gonna use these and we will see how well it goes with them. So you peel this off. And you put it on. I'm not gonna put on the other heat sinks. Oh yes I will. Oh wow. Why not? So I'm gonna put this one here. Okay, now let's close the case. And that's it. We have got our Raspberry Pi cased with a heatsink with a fan and it looks rather okay it looks really good so we will test this later on first I've got to do some things there's a problem with this case oh. so I cannot plug my HDMI cable into it so I will have to see to fix something so I'm gonna cut off this part so first, first let's show what the problem is
So when the case is closed like this, those ports are too low to the under layer. So I cannot plug my USB Type-C cable nor my HDMI cable. They both cannot be plugged because this layer is in the way. So I will cut off a piece of that. I'm sorry, it's not meant this way. So let's cut off this piece. And here this piece. Okay. So now let's put this together like this. And that comes here. And that on there. There goes number two! Okay, so now let's see if I can plug in my USB Type-C cable. Yes, that fits. And can I plug in my HDMI cable? That I don't think so. No. Yes. Yes, I can plug my HDMI cable. So, it's okay. Now let's see if it works. So I've plugged in this power adapter. And I'm gonna plug it in here. Nothing happens. I push this button. And it turns on. Oh, there's something wrong with the HDMI, it seems. Oh, no, shit, there's something wrong with this HDMI. Well, I am using an HDMI to mini HDMI adapter and that's why I've got troubles with my HDMI, but so it does work. So I'm gonna do some tests now, but we all see that it works. And here are the temperatures with this case. So at 1.5 GHz the idle temperature is 50 degrees with the fan at 3.3 volts and 47 degrees with the fan at 5 volts. And maxed out it goes to 74 degrees with 3.3 volts and 69 degrees at 5 volts. So this is good to run at 1.5 gigahertz. But when we overclock it to 2 gigahertz then it always throttles with the 5 volt fan. It throttles after 1 minute and 10 seconds with the 3.3 volt fan it throttles even quicker. So this case is very good if you only use the default clocks or maybe even 1.75 GHz but for 2 GHz the cooling isn't sufficient. With a bigger heatsink this could be fixed. He now also sells the same case with a bigger heatsink so best to choose that option. I like how the case looks and I will use this case. I will check for a bigger heatsink for it so I can clock it to 2 GHz. It doesn't make too much noise at 5 volts because the fan is inside so that is good but I like it more to use the fan at 3.3 volts because then you barely can hear it. Now the last part of the video, the fan mail. So I already opened this box. I was very surprised to see what was inside of here. I did not expect this all of. So first when I opened it I saw two times orange pie. So let's look, these are unopened, so these are orange pie plus, orange pie one plus, 
I think, yes. These have HDMI on board, so these can be very helpful for uh, some things. I will use these, I will make a closet for all my SBCs, so there's two of them. Then what did I see next? I saw two cases. I just put together a case, not again. It wasn't that hard actually. So two cases, then what did I saw? A cable, so it's a cable for the orange pies. I can use these two. Then this is very helpful for me. So the SATA connector for the orange pie. I do have an orange pie 2 plus, so almost the same model, but I don't have this cable. So now I can plug a SATA hard drive to it or an SSD. So that is very helpful. Thank you Paul for this. I'm very, very happy with that. Then I saw these. Those are audio amplifiers. I think 3 watts. So that's also very useful. You can use this for other things also. And I will use them. So I've got a few of them. Also a fan. And another cable. Then what do we have? Two more amplifiers. Another fan. Some screws. Some more cables. Those are micro HDMI cables. Some more screws. And then this I saw as last. I only knew about this. So I was so surprised when I saw all this and thought, who the hell did send me this? How can I have received this? But then I saw this and I knew who it was from. Two NVMe drives of 256 gigabytes. And here are two SATA to M.2, but it is not NVMe, it is NGFF. So uh, NGFF M.2 and two USB. So this can plug not these one, not these ones, but others. Uh, I think he made the wrong boy with these, uh, but I can use them. I will uh, eventually have uh, SSDs for this. So I am very thankful for this. Thank you, Paul. So that's it for today. It's gonna be a long video. Don't forget you can win five of those cases for the Raspberry Pi. Where is the Raspberry Pi? Here is the Raspberry Pi. So just share one of my videos on a social network. So if it is Facebook or Reddit or I don't know any others, I'm only on Facebook or Reddit. So put it on, on how is it called, uh, with that bird, Twitter, put it on Twitter or whatever, uh, there's something. Oh, I don't know how they are, are called, so photos, something with photos, I don't know. Just share one video of mine on a social network and put the link in the description of this video and you make a chance of winning this. I will tell you when you have won, it's the first five who will win. Thank you all for watching, see you later, hope you like my video, bye!